Good morning to you all, dear students. I hope you all are doing fine. So last class, we have learned about seasons. All right. So today, our topic of discussion is rivers of India. So today, we'll learn about rivers of India. Okay. So our aim for today is that students will be able to classify the rivers of India into northern and southern rivers. Okay. Resources required is your physical map of India, your S4, your exit content book, and your notebook. Keywords for today is water body and originate. All right. So let's look into the meaning of those keywords. What is water body? Any significant accumulation of water, usually covering the earth or another planet, such as a river, lake, or a bay, is called a water body. Okay, and originate means the place of origin or the place where it came from. Okay, so I hope now you are clear. Okay, so I want all of you to please observe the given picture. Okay, this is a physical map of India. As you can see, this is a physical map of India. Okay, so similarly, you will find even in your textbook. All right, you will find even in your exit content book. Okay, that is in page number forty-four. Uh, you will find even in page number forty-four. All right, and then even in page number forty-five, as well as in page number forty-six. So. I want all of you to observe the given picture even in your textbook all right so as you can see in the map there that some line are indicated in blue right this line these are rivers okay so these are rivers all right so student okay let me ask you a question based on that okay where is india all right where is india and what is it surrounded by how do you know can you see their name in the map what are their names all right so see as you can see the names out here so what are their names and how is india surrounded or where is it out what it is surrounded by all right so as you can see from the given map itself india is surrounded by seas and ocean okay India is surrounded by sea and ocean. So, Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean, right? So, India is surrounded by sea and ocean from three sides. From this side, downside, and even from the wayside, all right? These are Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, and Indian Ocean, all right? That is Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, and Indian Ocean. That is how Indian is surrounded by water body from each side, from both or from the three side, okay? So, let me ask you a simple question again. Where is the other water body we have in India? Okay. Where is the other water body we have in India? This is T, okay, water. Where is the other water body we have in India? And where does the water in your house come from? Where does the rain water flow to? Can you see some blue line in the map? What do you think they are? What is Ganga? What is Godavari? Where do you think rivers flow? Right, so the question here is where is the other water body we have in India that is apart from sea water if, apart from sea and ocean where does the water in your house come from where does the rainwater flow to can you see some blue lines in the map all right can you see some blue line in the map what do you think they are and where what is Ganga or what is Ganga and what is Kodavari? Where do you think rivers flow to? All right. So you see that rivers are important water bodies as they provide water for drinking and other purpose. All right. So we use water for different purpose. Okay. A river orig originates from the mountains and flows toward plain and finally mix into an ocean or sea okay so always remember a river always originate from the mountains 
all right and then it flows towards plains plain area and finally it mixes into ocean okay so this is how river is all about it will originate from the mountain it flows to the plain and then it mixes with the ocean all right or the sea so that's it and then so this is a river of india okay so this blue line are rivers all right these are rivers very important rivers some are rivers are located in the north some river are located in the south all right so uh listen uh, here's an instruction for you okay open your notebook and exit content book okay as you okay as you see now look at the river map of india and draw a line to divide the rivers into two groups that is northern and southern all right so in your note copy you do like this you make two column all right and then you separate it like this okay one you write north and then now one you write the south all right north group and south group and accordingly you write the names of two or three rivers of each group means how many rivers can you name under north how many rivers can you name under south okay north south you mentioned at least one two and three okay reverse into your notebook all right okay question number one is as you can see from your textbook as well which are the longest river of the northern river all right northern river groups where are they originating from are they being joined by some other river are all these rivers flowing through the northern plains and where are these river ending name river of the southern group where are they originating from are they being joined by some other rivers are all these rivers flowing through the plains where are these river ending okay so as you can see the question okay so uh, accordingly as you have indicated in your notebook so from there itself we can identify okay so let me just give you a hint see indian is divided in north east west south. i hope you know the direction as we have learned north east west and south so as you have indicated the river in the south and in the north okay so accordingly the question is asking okay based on that so student as you can see most of the rivers in the northern state originate from the himalayas okay they come from himalayas then they move to the plains where they are joined by many other rivers the river of the southern group originate in the peninsular plateau all right they originated from the peninsular plateau and then flow towards the coastal plains these rivers are joined by lesser number of other rivers than the northern rivers which means northern rivers they are joined by many other rivers okay as they flow from the himalayas okay whereas the southern they flow from the peninsular plateau and then they have lesser river that join them all right and they flow towards the coastal plain okay okay so question number two rivers such as chambal such as chambal beta betwa and san they originated on the peninsular plateau of india but yet are called the northern rivers and why why are they called northern rivers even though they are originated from peninsular plateau okay okay listen here okay uh, you see that the river originated the rivers that are originate in the peninsular plateau this river means the river chambal betwa and san okay they originate in the peninsular plateau but they flow towards the northern plain 
and then join the rivers originating from the northern mountains all right so let me give you an example so as you can see there are lots of rivers out here right so some rivers they actually flow from peninsula okay but they flow towards the northern plain and then they mix with the northern rivers again okay? so because of that this river are part of the northern group of rivers and are called northern rivers all right so the water in most of the northern rivers they come from the melting of snow in the himalayas melting of snow in the himalayas all right and the southern rivers get their water from rainfall okay so that's it and then your things to do for today is you have to do your s4 worksheet 4 okay and you have to complete your practice question number six all right so all the best thank you stay safe and take care